As part of efforts to curtail lingering farmer headers, crises, banditry, insecurity, and restore peace, harmonious understanding of affected communities in northwest Nigeria, International Alerts Peace Commission and critical stakeholders have decided to promote peaceful coexistence, access to equal justice between farmers and pastoralists in Zamfara and Kaduna state communities. They say the program is aimed at supporting stabilization, social justice, and localization of justice by ensuring that people at the conflict local communities get justice. Plus TV correspondent Habila Darafai fighting this report. For decades in northwest Nigeria, climate change, growing population are factors that have resulted to competition over natural resources, leading to conflicts of farmers and elders' crises. These challenges have escalated into cattle rustling, killings, kidnapping for ransom that displace hundreds of innocent citizens, with most children and women affected. Speaking, the country director of International Alert, Paul Bemshima, says the region is suffering from full-scale violence involving many non-state armed groups and ethnic militias, noting that lack of prosecution of perpetrators Weak dispute resolution measures and poor access to justice for survivors are major causes of the conflict. We recognize that violence is exacerbated by the level of impunity, weakness due to the lack of prosecution of perpetrators, weak dispute resolution measures, and poor access to justice for survivors. So the different initiatives for promoting justice seem to have been focused on the perpetrator and less attention paid to the survivors. To control, report, and respond to disturbances in communities, the Cardinal State Peace Commission launched its early warning, early response system in 2021, highlighting how it aids in resolving crises involving farmers and elders in local communities. Representatives of the government, however, advise citizens to be law-abiding and avoid taking laws into their hands. If a group of pastoralists while grazing destroy a particular farm what people are supposed to do is to recourse to the law by reporting to security agencies the same thing is applicable to farming communities it is uh, a criminal underworld where the bandits the groups are roving bandits. They have no one place where they can be found. They, they move from one forest to another across the entire states of the Northwest and even parts of North Central. So they are more difficult to deal with. And overall, I think most of those ethno-religious conflicts related to farmers and herders have been substantially managed. Still dealing with is the issue of criminal activities by banditry groups. A stakeholder, Barira Ibrahim, expressed delight saying the project was apt and timely. What are the factors that, that used to bring this kind of problem or challenges in our societies? So when all these issues are addressed, being addressed properly, women will end up enjoying and this violence will end up, or even not minimizing, but also end up in our state. So we are ready to support this program to collaborate with Zampere State Women Affairs so that women of Zampere State and children are not longer be left aside. The program will last for 18 months in Chikum, Jamar, and Zaria in Kaduna State, while in Zamfara State in Benin, Magaji, Maru, Shinkafi, and Safi local government areas. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.